Hi, I'm Dr. Venkatesh. I'm a consultant neurotologist. Today I'm discussing about point of care ultrasound in the diagnosis of congenital laryngomalacia in a neonate. 20 days old neonate was referred to us with hurried breathing, strider, poor feeding, requiring oxygen to maintain the adequate saturation. On examination, he demonstrated suprasternal and substernal recession with high pitched inspiratory strider. The bedside ultrasound was performed where the probe is kept over the neck in the coronal plane. We demonstrated dynamic structures of the larynx. You could appreciate collapsing arytenoids and epiglottis on coronal plane which goes in fear of laryngomalacia. The ENT surgeon performed the fiber optic bronchoscopy which is a gold standard which also demonstrated short epiglottic port and collapsing retinoids. In view of not gaining weight, poor feeding, the requirement of oxygen, it was thought of severe form of laryngomalacia requiring surgery. The surgery was performed. The laryngoplasty was done. Baby was kept post procedure in the NICU for the monitoring. Stayed in the NICU for three to four days. Gradually, oxygen was stopped. The strider intensity came down, and respiratory support the baby came off, and his respiratory signs also improved. He was referred back to the referring hospital, stayed there for a couple of days and then got discharged on full feeds without any oxygen support. My friends, congenital laryngomalacia doesn't require any treatment most of the times, but when it comes severe form in the form of the requirement of oxygen on respiratory support, poor feeding, not gaining weight, that needs actually some surgical procedure. Here, Usually, we perform bed cell ultrasound before the bronchoscopy and we could appreciate all the ultrasound features of laryngomalacia which was confirmed using the gold standard fiber optic bronchoscopy. Thank you so much.